<laughs> okay, highlight letter E, change it to different color. So there's like a separator. So let's get our prices now. Um, in F1, we're going to get the... How much it costs in Korean won? How much is it? Is it like... For like it, 3,600? 8? 3,600? All right, 3,600 won. Um, and we're going to convert that to US dollar. What's the fastest way of getting the exchange rate? Yeah, so in, a, in H1, put the exchange rate. And yes, the internet is probably the fastest. What you're going to do, Google is very smart. If you, in Google, just type in one US dollar to one, it'll tell you um, exactly the amount. So one USD to one. And Google search, and notice it says one US dollar equals 1,233 today. So, Great. So exchange rate, 1,000, what was it? 233. So that's our exchange rate. And that was for one US dollar. So put one at the top. So H1 put one. So one US dollar is this much. Okay, so for US dollar, what's going to be our equation? I'll put it up there. Okay, in Excel we use equations to get our answers. Good. Click F2. Divided by is the forward slash. And divided by what? Good. We hit enter. So in American dollars is 290. Go ahead and take out some of the decimals to 2. Two decimals, so it's two dollars and ninety-two cents. Uh, go ahead and make that currency in the format on the right side. The default is number. Change the currency. So now we have currency. Okay. Now for D four. We want to get Isabel's uh, order for the price. So we're going to put equals, what's our formula? Uh, C4 C4 times, C4. C4 times what? G2, good. And then hit enter. So we have $14.60. Is that correct? Yes. All right, next, what we're going to do, um, drag in the bottom right-hand corner of your cell where there's a cr uh, cursor, like an X or a cross, drag it down one slot. So is that correct? No. Is DCHO owe zero dollars? No. So Excel is pretty smart. Like If you drag, it'll copy down the equation. But notice how it, it copies the equation down. First of all, it's C4 times G2. Okay, when you copy the equation, what if we copy this equation down? What's the next cell going to be? C6 times G4. So again, watch. G4 times G2. This one is G5 times G3. And then C6 times G4. You guys see the pattern? So what's wrong? Yes, it should be G2 all the time. We want C, the C column to copy down, but we want the G2 to stay the same. So what we need to do is go back to Isabel's order. And under G2, if we add the dollar sign before the G, 
and before the two, that creates an absolute cell reference. So that means it's always going to stay the same for G2. So hit enter. Now copy it down, and everyone should have their orders now. Okay? So one more time, your equation should be C4 times dollar G, dollar two. Yeah, two dollars. And then you copy it down, and then you should get all the orders. So remember, you have to think and try to understand what we're doing, because it can get kind of complicated if you don't stay together. Okay, now what I want you to do, so the good thing about cell referencing, when you do your formulas, go ahead and highlight F1 to G2, and then go ahead and drag it over to the B column and to the D column. So it's right above your uh, titles, so drag it over. So notice when we drag it over, all of our numbers and formulas stay the same. Go back and highlight uh, D4. Notice now it's C2. So Excel is really smart. It'll automatically adjust if you move the cells around. Sure. Um, to copy the formula down, you put the bottom right hand corner until there's this little X and then you drag it down. If it comes out weird for you then make sure you have this as your equation. Okay, you guys are good. If you already have it finished, maybe you can help the person next to you Get it right. question was how do you move you basically just highlight what you want to move and then where it has the hand you grab it and then you can move it <laughs> yep easy okay everyone's good now Okay. Have you guys seen the game outside of Cold Stone where you get to spin the wheel and try to win a coupon? Yeah, so um, me and my wife, we were walking out, we played the game, and I won like a free Like It. My wife won a free brownie, so we were able to get that. So let's do a little spin the game thing. Um, so let's say that each slot that you spin is like a number. So let's say it's one, two, three, four, and five. So let's say there's five slots, right? And if you spin the wheel and it stops on the one, make up something. So I'll put free brownie. And if it stops on slide or slot two, we're going to say buy one, get one. If it stops on three, I'm going to say uh, try again. 